If you visit the Faroe Islands, please remember that many tourist destinations are also places where people live and work. Please respect their property and privacy. Previously on Drake Paragon. As close as Paragon's ever got to a boat like that. Is Vesmana growing or is it getting smaller? These are original fishing boats, maybe 110 years old. That land wasn't there before. No, it was just open. This is an old Viking ruin. No one should live here because this place is cursed. cursed. Yeah. So when did you first get into rowing? The origin of the ferry is rowing. It comes from the Vikings. After spending two weeks docked on the pier in Vestmana, our Faroese friends Turi and Torbjörn took us for a ride to the very small village of Saxon, from where we would go for a mountain hike and picnic. On the ride from Vestmana to Saxon, we encountered some horses on the road. There are about 400 horses of various breeds in the Faroe Islands. The most popular breed in Faro is the Icelandic horse. The Icelandic horse breed was developed from ponies taken to Iceland by Viking settlers in the 9th and 10th centuries. <laughs> Little braid in the pants. Yeah. <laughs> Fancy pants. Woo! Nice jump there. Wow, look at all that hair. Hello. So beautiful. Oh, look at you. So, do they belong to somebody? Yeah. Yeah. But they roam free. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Their hair is so beautiful. The remote village of Saxon has only 11 inhabitants. It is an incredibly beautiful place, surrounded by high mountains and many stunning waterfalls. There is a turf-roofed church there that was built in 1858, and an active sheep farm with approximately 710 sheep. Saxon is also located next to a natural harbor, which was probably once used as an anchorage for Viking ships. However, long ago, a storm filled much of the harbor with sand, making it unnavigable by all but the smallest draft boats. first and we are looking up this big mountain uh, this uh, really nice guy that I met a couple of days ago uh, asked me if we'd like to go on this trip uh, to the highest mountain in this island and we have been walking for about half an hour 
since we left the car back there. And the view is pretty spectacular. Look at that mountain. Uh, that bay down there was once used to anchor ships. Very, very protected harbor. As you can see, there was a big storm event and that brought in all that sand and now it's completely blocked off so ships can't come in here anymore. That sand came in here in 1602. <laughs> Other than the church and the small village of just a dozen houses, this is probably exactly what it looked like back then. Okay, onward. We are going to the top of this mountain. I didn't realize that we'd be doing this hiking or else I would have worn my hiking boots. It's also been raining on and off and my feet are soaking wet in my sneakers. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this slope. Like, that's horizontal and that's the slope. So, one little slip here, and uh, I don't want to think about it right now. I feel like a sheep. This is the normal living habitat of the vast majority of sheep that are here in the Faroe Islands because everywhere in the Faroes it's so mountainous. Everything is at an incline like this. <laughs> Theoretically, just about anything could grow here. The only thing you ever see is grass. I heard that a three meter tree would be considered unusually tall and that's because of the sheep. The sheep eat everything on the land and that's why there are no trees here. Grass is the only thing that, that can grow. I'm winded. I can grow fast enough. Hi winded, I'm Mo. <laughs> You're not windy, eh? Carrying three cameras, about a dozen batteries, and a quadcopter, and a tripod on my back. And the expectations of YouTube. <laughs> I'll do anything for YouTube. Yeah, they put them here in the olden days to mark the path that they took exploring. They would make a pile of rocks and then walk to just to the limit of the visual distance of the rock pile. And then they would make another rock pile and continue on making rock piles every so far so that they could follow the rock piles back to where they came. another rock cairn. for a few hours now and we've come to a more level area of this mountain 
and there are birds all over. I don't know if you can see this, but there are hundreds of birds and we have found many nests just like lying around in the grass here. And we have been dive-bombed several times by these birds who are trying to protect their nests. I don't know what kind of birds these are, but our presence here is certainly not welcome by these guys. We're being really careful not to accidentally step on a nest. When they dive bomb, they put their feet out and their wings out, and it makes a whirring sound in the wind. Wow. <laughs> I know, he just dove on you. Hey little guy, welcome to the world. Oh, it's a brand new baby. This is probably day one. Where the hell am I? Wow, all the people of Vesmona. Yeah. Wow. That's going to be quite a fire. A very big fire, a very short fire. Yeah, for a very short time. It's just pallet, so it'll burn fast. Look like a lot of kids. Yeah. <laughs> that was fast. So, 
What's going on? It is the longest day of the year. It's the longest day of the year. The most daylight today. There are things going on all over Faroe Islands. There are bonfires and there are people gathering. There's music being played. We hiked for like 10 hours today. Oy. To go to you must the, be exhausted. To go to this mountain. Yes. I was told that someone was coming by to pick us up, to drive to go see this mountain, and we might walk a bit. I believe that's how it was sold to me. Yeah, I we did. We ended up doing some pretty extreme hiking for 10 hours. Wow. Yeah, nonstop pretty much, huh? Yeah. Well, no, actually, I, I mean, yes, yes, but we definitely sat down. We had dried fish. Um, we had tea. We had all sorts of stuff. We they brought a little uh, butane cooker so yeah, we could yeah. make, make coffee and tea. Yeah. And we got water from the stream. Yes. Mm. We actually got water directly from the stream and boiled it. And what's going on behind you there? There is a gigantic bonfire and like a whole bunch of people from town are there and they're selling beer and cider and hot dogs and people are singing and playing guitar and we should actually we should go aye, aye. wow we should go join it again but we had to go to the bathroom we just we seriously like drove back from hiking all day parked and went out to the festival and yeah everyone's out here kind of celebrating mm. the longest day of the year the longest amount of daylight Cool. I can't let you go, baby.